do you believe that no one was really expecting things to have escalated this much vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the Indian government's decisions uh, regarding uh, occupied Kashmir? Well, uh, as I said, the past few days have been very difficult for us with no news coming from home. Uh, and today we heard a news that one teenage boy has been killed and a lot of people have been uh, I mean, hit by ballots and they're admitted in hospitals. So I think this is a start of a new season of unrest and it's going to be a long battle. And as Athar said, uh, people are not going, going to take this lying down. They will fight back. And uh, I think Indian government has itself to blame for this kind of situation they're in. And uh, coming to this information blockade, you said, which, which you earlier said, uh, why India does this? I mean, I feel that it's because of the suspension of internet and information blockade. It's a tested formula used by India in Kashmir. Whenever there is some sort of uprising or there's some sort of a situation where they feel their their uh, identity or their presence in Kashmir is threatened, like for example, we saw for the killing of Burhan Wani also, hmm. uh, the first thing they do is they shut down the communication channels, including internet, new media. Yeah. Uh, the idea is to muzzle the voices of dissent and uh, hide their horrendous war crimes in Kashmir. Well, yes, people were not uh, fully prepared for it uh, because they were like expecting something, some judicial verdict to come out of it. But at the same time, I would say it was not totally shocking also because uh, we have a Hindu nationalist comment in Delhi uh, that seeks to sort of end Muslim majority character, the Muslim majority status of Kashmir and annex it with the Indian Union against the aspirations of uh, people of Kashmir. The successive regimes in Delhi have always tried to focus on the land, not the people. And mm. people have always vehemently opposed their moves and they will continue to do so. Today we are in a siege and like uh, people are locked up and there is Article 144 imposed, which bans the movement of people, which bans the assembly of people, yeah. schools, shops, everything is shut down. Even petrol pumps are dry. ATMs are out of money. So there's a situation, emergency situation.